Welcome back to the homestead. In today's video, we're going to take a walk through the woods and check on the loggers. So the loggers finally made it over to our house and they are good at making noise all day. And they are hauling out tons of trees. Thought we'd take a look and see what they got going on here. Now this used to be solid trees and you can see now they are clearing it out pretty good and they're leaving huge piles of waste. Oh, look at the nice big roots they're putting in here. So he did say that we could have any of that if we wanted it, which We'll take advantage of it for the fireplace. I know the tractor has been having a hard time pulling the stuff up. Because they got to go way down into the holler to bring these up over here. See what they got going on farther in the trees. I'm hoping that they can see the barbed wire fence so they are not coming over onto our property. But oh, look at the yucca, it's blooming. I don't know, I guess it's dried up. Oh, look at the mess they're making. So right here, this fence line, you can see it attached to this tree here. fence line you can see the posts right here so I'm just walking right next to it so as long as they stay to the right of me they are okay so far gosh I don't remember it being so open in here Yeah, so getting down into this valley, he, holler is what they call it. The tractor is having a heck of a time getting up that hill with all the big logs. Now, this is our land, and I don't remember these being down. You can see the fence line is way over there. Yeah, I don't remember this being here. Fence line is oh, 
it's so hard because the ground is just nothing but rocks. There's it's just solid rocks. This is not how you log. That's how you create destruction that will take generations to recover. It's sad. This should all be chopped up. The branches wood chipped. It needs to be small pieces so it doesn't take so long for it to break down and turn back into dirt. Sad. Okay, let's see here. All right, right here, this post fence line. So I'm still on my side of the line. So it's very close to the fence line there. That's on the fence line. That stuff there. Fence line got covered up by that. This is the only fence line that needs to be redone. I don't know if he's going to do it. But somebody's got to. Where did the fence line go? Okay, it's going it's going through this tree right here. Let's go closer to it here. So you can see the fence line here. You see the tree just it grew right around the by way fence. Alright. Hopefully they're almost done because they are so loud, it's making it difficult for Perry to sleep since he is third shift and sleeps during the day. Right, here's another tree with all the barbed wire going through it. We're still on the fence line here.
most of this, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but way down in there, that's all valley. Keep hearing something over here. I think it's a some deer running through. But so here's more fence line. And it goes right up to this here big post. That is our corner post. That he cannot contest because that definitely is our border. And then this is the neighbors behind us. Apparently they're logging theirs too. It's a big old mess. You can hear animals running through it. All these leaves. You know, we've been seeing lots of deer in the deer hunting season. It's at least three bucks. One's a nice big six pointer. You can tell back here. But Right here it goes down and then up the hill. Down and then back up this way. Now we'd like to buy five acres from them on this side of our property, but I don't know. They do too much damage. I mean, we wanted it for hunting. Gunshot. Yep. Out hunting still. Better get out of the woods. Yeah, this is all of ours. This is all our woods. Which eventually we will be cutting some trails through here. Get rid of the dead ones. Funky ones. And Make it in a nice place to ride the four-wheeler. Hopefully. You can never see the valley, that valley before, but now you can really see it. You can see how that's their trail or trying to, where the tractor's pulling those logs out. It's getting nice and muddy, making it difficult, which is just ruining the soil. Let's go this way. Probably living in that one. All these leaves, you can't see where the rocks or the holes are. You can see our house there. So we're, the pond is right here, and there's our house.
definitely a workout work walking through here, that's for sure. But can't get the four-wheeler through here very easily. Because right now, with all the leaves gone, it wouldn't be so bad. In the summer, the roses are so thick, it's hard to get through here. So, you know, that's all, all ours down to that there tree down there. I'm just not wanting to walk through that valley again. Yeah, right up there's the pond. Usually the cats come with me. The dogs don't though, which is weird. <coughs> oh, a bunch of thistles all over. Look at that tree. That, I believe, is a tree of heaven. And if you see, the roots all spread out like that. So you can see they're spread out here. They're all connected to each other. And there's more over here. They're an evasive tree. So I'll have to get rid of some of them because they can spread and do some damage. And there's the pond and the house. And we're out of the woods. Alright. Still really low, but eventually we'll have time to get to it. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please make sure to subscribe, like, click that notification bell. Thank you.